it's a delicious coffee cake. That sounds great. So, It turns out to show me on the floor to tilt it way down. Bye. Hello guys, if you are just joining us, this is our Facebook class today, Kids Karate. Upper West Side Kenshikai at home. We're gonna start in about two minutes. So grab some water, clear your space, and we will be right back. We're gonna start down on the floor today, which is why you see me down on the floor today. As always, if you are just joining us on Facebook today, feel free to type in to the comments and let us know who's with us. We usually have a good crew of the same people every Wednesday. So let me know that you are following along at home. Tell me how you guys are doing today. We'll start momentarily. Welcome to Kids Karate on Facebook at Upper West Side Kenshi Kai at home. Hope you guys are all doing okay today and we're going to get ourselves started. Let's start by sitting on our knees. So we, again, we're starting down on the floor today. So I'm sitting in my seiza. My feet are tucked underneath my bottom. Hands are closed right at my waist. Everyone close your eyes. Maksa. And Maksoyame, open your eyes, bow. Us. Okay, so we are going to start down on the floor with some stretches today. And then we're going to do some things still down on the floor to get us ready for some stuff that we're doing later in the class. So the first thing we're going to do, the first stretch, is we're going to take one leg, stick it out straight, take the other leg and bend it like this. And we're going to reach down and grab our toe. So this leg is straight, this knee is bent. And you can grab and be sideways like me, or you can turn and face your foot. And we're just gonna hold that stretch for five, four, three, two, one. Sit your body up. Don't move your legs at all. We're just gonna twist and look over our shoulders. So you should feel it in your waist, a little bit in your back. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. So now we're gonna switch legs. Other leg is sticking out. Grabbing your toe and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Twist your body, look over your shoulder for five, four, three, two, one. Open your legs nice and wide in a big wide straddle. So we're gonna make sure our toes are pointing up at the sky. So I'll move back so you can see a little more of my body. And our knees are super straight. And we're in a comfortable straddle. So we're not our widest, widest position right now. And we're just gonna start by straightening our back. And we're gonna start walking forward while still looking up. So don't look down and round and curl into a little ball. Still look straight ahead. So I'm still looking up at you. And hold for five, four, don't move. Three, two, one. Come up for a second, but don't move your legs. Just open a little wider. So you can do what I did, which is put one hand in front and one hand in the back. 
or you can just kind of hit your legs and get them to open. So now you should be at your widest stretch, as far as you can go. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep our back straight and just start walking forward and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sit up, bring your feet together, make a butterfly. Shake out your knees. And now pull your feet as close as you can. Bring your head down. Hitch, knee, sun, chi. Go, cross your legs, slowly shake your head, yes. Slowly shake your head, no. Shrug your shoulders up, wiggle them around. Okay, so if you're just joining us, this is our kids' karate class. We're starting down on the floor today. We're gonna isolate some different positions of our feet and our hands that we're then gonna refer back to in a little bit. As always, welcome on Wednesday to our Facebook class. If you wanna type into the comments and let us know you're watching, feel free to do so. Otherwise, keep following along. So what we wanna do now, we're gonna stick our feet out. So here's my feet. I'm gonna turn this way so you can really get a view of the positions of my feet and I'm gonna come up a little close to show you what I'm doing. So when we come to our kicks a little bit later, what we really wanna focus on today is the position of our feet for our specific kick. So the first thing I want you guys to do is stick your foot out and flex it. So this is a point, this is a flex. A flex means my toes are pointing back. A point means my toes are pointing down. Those of you who do dance, you might already know about pointing your feet. So we're doing a flex. And now we're gonna stick our foot out with our toes still up. So notice it's like this, but my toes are up. And what am I sticking out? I'm sticking out the ball of my foot, this part here. That's this position of our foot that we're gonna use for our front snap kick later. So what I want you guys to do now is make that position of your foot, foot back, toes back, boom, right? And if you can't, if this feels a little funny, you can do this too, but the idea is we're sticking out the ball of our foot. We're gonna put our hands on the floor, our feet in the sky, and we're gonna put one foot down, and we're just gonna practice five times, sticking that position, that ball of the foot out. Five, and now switch to the other side, stick that part out. Stick it out. Yes. Three, four, five. Okay. That ball of the foot is what we're going to use when we do our front snap kick in a little bit. So I want you to remember that. The front snap kick, ball of the foot. So now, go back to your sticking your feet out. And we're going to make that point. So instead of being up, our toes are going to go down. You're going to see the whole top of your foot stick out. That's the position of our foot for our roundhouse kick. So now what I want you guys to do is turn onto your side and put your elbow on the floor or your head on the floor, either one. But we're going to use this top leg to roundhouse kick and back nice and slow. We're not kicking hard yet. Really focusing on that pointed foot. Three, four, five. Turn over to the other side. Remember, we're still focusing on the position of our foot. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. So we're going to do one more. This is a super tricky one, but it's also kind of fun. So when we do our side kick, we use the side of our foot. Oh, let's go back for a second. Don't forget, pointed foot. Top of the foot is for roundhouse kick. But now let's move on. So you're gonna flex your foot again so your toes are up. And now you're gonna turn so you're sticking out the side of your foot. So if I come super close, here I am, right? And now, let me see if I can get the right angle to show you guys. We'll go this way. Side of my foot. So see how you see the top of the side? And now there's a little trick that makes it even stronger if you can do it. Side of your foot, and then you're gonna curl your toes down. So if you see me from up close, you see what I got? I got my big toe up and all my other toes down. That really tightens up that side of our foot. If you can't do that, it's okay. Just stick your foot out sideways, but it's this part here, the, we call it the knife edge of our foot. And now, again, you're gonna lie down either on your elbow or not, 
And we're just going to stick out that side of our foot for three. Really isolate that side. See how flat my foot is. And switch to the other side. So there we are. Side of the foot, knife edge foot. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're back up. Before we stand up, let's just review. So we did ball of the foot. Boom, right? This part right here, we're going to use that for our front snap kick later. We did top of the foot right here. We're going to use that for our roundhouse kick. And we did side of the foot right here. It's the outside edge. We're going to use that for our side kick. So now, right before we stand up, let's just bring up our hands. Remember, close tight fist, right? Obviously, if you're newer to karate, you might be just learning that, my advanced students, you already know that. But what we want to focus on for our punches, I'm going to come up nice and close to you guys, is this part right here. These two knuckles coming straight out with a nice straight wrist. I'll show you on this one. Boom, right? That's our straight punch, whether it's an up punch, a middle punch, or a down punch. That's the part of our fist we're using for our punches. And we're going to do one more thing today where we're going to flip it and use the back of our fist for our back fist strikes, obviously. Back fist, back of the fist, front of the hand for our straight punches. So let's come up to our feet. I know that was a lot of stuff down on the floor. I wanted to do it all before we started our movement so we didn't have to stop to go over it other than to just send a quick reminder. So here we are. In our statue, we're going to step into our Sanchandachi stance, so Kamate. Good. Both hands are going to go out. We're going to pull one hand into our chamber. And now I really want you to isolate that fist. Really imagine. So here I am, right? Imagine that I'm right there. I'm the target. I'm going to give you another target in a second. Let's just practice. So we're punching out. One, two, middle punch, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and kia. So here's what we're gonna do right now. I got, we're gonna play a little game that helps us isolate and remember these things in a really fun way. So I got some traffic circles here. Green light, you guys know, means go fast. Yellow light means go slow. Red light, of course, means stop. So here's how it's going to work. Bring your hand out. Put your hand in your chamber. We're punching middle. When you see the green light, you're going to do that middle punch nice and fast, as fast as you can, but don't lose the form with the chamber and the tight fist. When you see the yellow light, you're going to really work on those details slow. When you see the red light, you're just going to freeze and you're going to check your own hands, because I can't see you, to make sure you got that position that we want with the straight wrist and the pointy knuckles and the tight chamber. Remember, we're doing stomach punch on your mark. Get set. Yellow light. Slow punches for five, four, three, two, one. Green light, fast punches for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Red light, freeze. Hand out. Good chamber. Check both of your fists. Make sure they're both in the right position. All right, I'm going to put them down for a second. Bring that hand up in front of your face. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Very good. So we're punching up. Same idea. Here we go. Slow up punches for five, four, three, two, one, fast up punches for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and freeze. Hold that hand out, check your straight fist, check your tight fist, check those first two knuckles, check your chamber. All right, last one like this, hand is down, punching down. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku. And do kia. All right, last one. You know the drill. 
Punching down. Yellow light for five, four, three, two, one. Green light for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Red light freeze. Hand down. Good. Hand chamber. Nice and tight. Awesome work. Shake it out. All right. Take a couple deep breaths. Okay. So we are ready to go with the other thing that I said we were going to focus on today. Hopefully you remember what it was. Our back fist. So obviously our back fist is the back of our hand. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to bring our hands together. I'm going to show you this angle so you can see that my hands are in front of my chest. They're not like this, right? We're going to strike out, bend that wrist, bring it back. Right? So the idea is it's the knuckles, but from the back of our hand, not the front of our fist, right? So here we are. We're going to go out. This is our Yurakin Shomenichi. Itch, knee, sun, chi. Go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, and ju, kia. All right, so I'm going to count for you guys. I want you guys to do 10 with kiai. Ready, itch, ni, san. Remember, we're still doing this. Chi, kia. Go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Very good. So that was our Yurak and Shomunuchi striking in front. We're now going to bring our hands together, and again, this is what I'm like. So my elbows are sticking out on the side. My hands are together. I'm going to look to one side, strike to that side. I'm going to look to the other side, strike to that side. And I'm going to keep going that way. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, and ju. Flip it over. Bring it back with the key eye. Itch, strike, and come back fast now. Knee, good. Sun, chi, go. Rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Very good. So this one, we're going to take one hand and stick it out. Stack it on top like this. So I have one hand down and one hand on top. My hand on top is going to go out and strike. And the back fist is going toward the back. So it's as if the target you're hitting is right behind you. The one that strikes is going to come under. So most of you know this. If you're not sure, this one's going to come out and go under. Out and under, right? One, two. Every time you strike, bring it to the bottom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, and ten. So let's do it fast and hard with ki. You guys go ahead. Itch and ki. Ni, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, and ju. Very nice. Nare, shake it out. Awesome. So, just stretch out a little bit for one second. We're going to come back with those kicks, with the focus that we were talking about before. So we're going to start with our front snap kick. And remember, what we're focusing on is that ball of the foot. Hello, my. So what we're going to do today, what I'm going to do, it is your choice. I'm going to go and put my hand on the wall. You don't have to do that. It's up to you. But because we are isolating the position of our foot, we really want to be able to hold our kick out for a second so if you feel like you're going to wobble and fall down, that would be a good opportunity right now for you to grab onto a wall, put your hand on a chair, on your sofa, anything like that that is going to make it easier for you to bounce. So we're going to do our front snap kick. So it's up to you to base on the space that you're in. So for me, I'm going to put my hand on a wall and I'm going to face you. Another option would be to put your hand on something that's behind you. So I would go like this and kick this way. If you're holding onto a chair, you can hold onto the chair sideways. Whatever works for you, the goal is to find a position where you can use your front snap kick a little slow and you have space. So obviously, you don't want to go here and the, the thing you're holding onto is in your way when you're trying to kick. So figure it out now. 
Get yourself in a space where your hand can be on something. All right, so my hand's gonna be here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my right leg. So I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna stick out the ball of the foot. I'm gonna pull it back and put it down. I'll move back a little bit more so you can really see my leg. So again, I'm gonna go up, ball of the foot, pull it back, put it down. So we're gonna do that five times with the same leg. Ready, itch, up, ball of the foot, pull it back, put it down. Knee, sun, Cheek, and go. Ball of the foot, very good. Shake out that leg. We're gonna do the other leg. If you need to turn yourself around, so if the thing you're holding on to is on only one side, if it's a chair, you can move it to the other side of your body. Hands back on the wall, other leg. Up, stick out the ball of the foot, pull it back, put it down. Knee, sun. She and go. Okay, shake it out. Come away from the object that you're using, if it's a wall or if it's a chair. Leave it close by, but just make sure you're not going to kick it. We're going to bring our hands up, and we're going to do that same front snap kick a little bit faster, but don't forget to isolate that position of our foot. So even fast, I can still remember to stick that ball of the foot out. Hands are up, and itch. Knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, and ju. Very good. Shake it out. Next, top of the foot. Think in your head for a second. What kick was that? That was our roundhouse kick. Exactly. So, if you want, you can go back to the thing you were holding on to. And remember, what we're isolating is that pointed foot. So I'm gonna do it at this angle facing you. Whatever angle works for you guys is fine. Pick up one leg, snap, and put it down. And again, it's the ball of the foot that we're isolating. I mean, I'm sorry, the top of the foot that we're isolating to throw that roundhouse kick. Two, three, point that toe. Four, point that toe. Five, point that toe. So to do this one, I actually am gonna have to switch sides. You make it work for you. And one, point that toe. Two, point that toe. Three, four, and five. Come away from the thing you're holding on to. So we're gonna do some fast roundhouse kicks. Make sure you have enough space. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Put one leg in front. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 fast roundhouse kicks with the front leg. So it looks like this. I'm gonna tap the floor, and every time I'm going to pop that leg back up. Ready, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, punch, two, switch your legs, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, very good, shake it out, stretch out for a second. We got one more of these. It's going to be our sidekick. So, hand is going to go on your thing, your wall, whatever it is you're using, one more time. You're going to pick up your knee. So, notice this is going to be a sidekick. Notice my knee and my belly are both facing you. That means my sidekick is going to go out that way. If I were here and I wanted to kick toward you, I would have to face my belly and my knee that way, right, to kick toward you. So side kick right now is going sideways. So we could do a fighting stance, you guys know. We could do a side kick like that. We're specifically kicking to the side. So whatever you're holding on to, make sure it's on the side of you so your belly is going and your knee is going straight and your kick is going out to the side. This one we're going to hold. So we're going to pick up our knee, get that side of the foot out, and hold it. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you got this, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Pull it back, switch sides. Knee up, hold it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull it back, put it down. Last time, come away from your wall, whatever you're using, and side kick. So now it's gonna be your choice. I'm gonna show you two, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and count for you. One option is to stand up straight and just kick from one side, and then the other side. The other option is to pick up a fighting stance and just use your front leg, but make sure it's a side kick with that side of the foot. I'm gonna count for either option. I'll tell you when to switch legs if you're using your front leg. So again, I know that was a little confusing. Either stand straight and face the camera, and every time I count, kick to a different side, or pick up a fighting stance and we're gonna count the first five with this leg, one, two, three, and so on, and I'm gonna say switch, and the next five with the other leg. Whichever one you're doing, hands up, get ready, and itch, knee, sun, chi, go, look. So, switch your feet if you were doing the fighting stance one. Rook, sitch, hutch, Ku and you. Very nice. Everyone shake it out. If you need to go grab a sip of water, now would be the time. I know that you guys are at home, so you could have been sitting there eating popcorn, drinking water, but you know me. Hopefully you weren't, but now's a good time to go grab a quick sip. We'll be right back. Okay, that's it. That's all you got. Hopefully you didn't go grab a pizza. So here we are. We're going to do some kata today. I'm going to try to get a good angle because the first two katas we're going to do, we're going to do without our hands at all. So I want you to be able to follow me if you're not quite sure how to do this. So hopefully this is a good angle. I want you to be able to really see my legs. Let me go a little bit farther back and a little lower. So right now, I will make the reminder that if you have a very small space, anytime you see me take a step, it's fine to just shuffle your feet and switch them. What I mean by that is if you see me go like this, and then like this, and you don't have enough room, you can go like this, and then like this, that's fine. But we're gonna do our white belt kata, our taikiyoka number one, with our hands on our waist. So if you already know the kata, every time I count, will help you out doing the moves. If you're not sure, just try your best to follow along. Don't worry if you get a little bit frustrated. But we're not gonna do the blocks or the punches. So hands are on your waist. We're turning to our left. Itch, boom. Stepping in, knee, boom. Good, we're gonna use our front leg to turn all the way around. Side, stepping in, chi. Front leg toward the camera, go. Three steps forward, rook. I'm gonna move back so I have some room. Sitch and hotch. That's our forward step. We're now gonna take our back leg. Watch my body. Once I get there, I'm not gonna switch my feet anymore. I'm just gonna turn around. So obviously any yellow belts or blue belts in the room, you know how to do that. But for newer students, we wanna make sure after we back step, our feet stay right where they are. We just turn our body, we don't switch again. So let's do it. Back leg turn, step, front leg turn, step, front leg turn away from the camera. Three steps with your back to the camera. One, two, three. Back leg again. Turn, turn your body. Step. Front leg goes around, and step. Very good, come on back. So we're gonna do one more kata with just our feet. So that kata we just did with our feet is our white belt kata, our taikiyoku number one. 
We're now going to do our Taikiyoku number three, which is one of our blue belt katas. Again, just our feet. So hands on your waist. We're going to turn. And this time, instead of stepping out into that big Zenkutsudachi, we're going to turn into our fighting stance, our Kokutsudachi. So you're going to the left. One. Drop that front foot down. Slide all the way in. Good. Turn. Kokutsudachi. Step that front foot in. Big stance toward the front. And now we're doing the same thing we just did. One step, two steps, and three steps. So now, find your back leg, but instead of stepping all the way, we're going to step smaller. So we can turn into our fighting stance. So go ahead and do that. Drop that front foot, step all the way in. Turn with your front leg into your fighting stance. Drop that front foot, step all the way in. Front leg's going away from the camera, just like we did before. Three steps. One, two, three. Back leg turns in that Koku Tsudachi. Step in. Front leg turns into that fighting stance. And step in and we're done. Come on back, shake it out. All right, so now we're gonna use our hands. We're going to do the kata we just did, taikyoku number three, not taikyoku number one, which was the kata we did first. We're going to add our hands. So if you know this, again, you can try to do it by yourself and not check me. You can always check me to make sure you're doing it right. If you've never done it before, just do your best to follow along. Again, following along on Facebook, on a screen, like we've talked about before, is a little bit tricky. Just do your best. So we're going to yoi. We're going to turn off to our left, inside block. Boom. So notice I'm still in that kokutsudachi, that fighting stance. Drop that front foot like we've been doing. Slide all the way in, or step all the way in. Stomach punch. Turn the other way. Boom. Step all the way in, stomach punch. Block down toward the camera. Step in, face punch. One. Face punch. Two. Face punch. Three. Back leg is turning, inside block. Go ahead. Step in and punch. If you need to peek over to me, please do. Turn inside block. Step in and punch. Front leg's going away from the camera. Block down. Three face punches away from the camera. One, two, three. Back leg is turning. Inside block. Step on in and punch. Front leg is turning. Inside block. Step in and punch. Front leg's going. Oh, sorry. That was it. <laughs> and all right. Come on back. I wanted to keep going. Okay. So I'm going to put my camera down on the floor. You're going to do a kata of your choice. And then we're going to finish our class back down on that floor. So here we are. We're down on the floor again. I want you to pick a kata that you know. So if you are brand new to karate and you've never done a kata before, my advice to you is going to be every time I count, just do any move you want. If you are a yellow belt and you know pinon 2 or pinon 3, if you're advanced yellow, you can do that one. If you're a blue belt, you can do Kenshi Kai 1. If you don't know what to do, everyone at home, just do any move you want. I'm just going to count so you don't need to look at me at all. You're on your own. When you hear my count, you just do your next move. Everyone, yoi. And your kata, itch, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch. For some of you, that was probably a key eye count. Ku, ju, itch. Ni, san, chi, go. So if you were doing a kenshi kai kata, that's the end of yours. You can come back. Everyone else keep going. Rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. All right, I know that was really fast. If you were doing a kata that had a lot of moves, you were probably zooming through the air like that. That's okay. So we're going to finish our class back where we started, but now we should be a little sweaty. 
We should be a little warmer, so our stretch can be a little bit wider. So we're gonna go back to that straddle. Sometimes it's easier to stretch when you are super warm. So open it up. I would say maybe not as far as you can go, but almost there. And now we're gonna start by reaching to the side and hold for itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju, other side, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju, take a deep breath, down in the center, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju, little wider, as wide as you can go. Hopefully it'll be a little bit wider than it was before. And just hold. You can bring your head down this time if you want. Hold it there. You're gonna hold it for a full 20 seconds. So the goal here is to not come out of it and go, I'm bored. I know it's a little boring, but the idea is this is how we get a little more flexible every time. So we gotta hold it for one, two, you can even close your eyes if you want. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, you got this, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent work, bring your feet together and make a butterfly. Now that the weather's getting a little warmer, that's actually a really good opportunity to work on your stretching. It's a little harder to stretch when you're really cold. When you're warmed up and sweaty, it's even easier to get ourselves more flexible. Feet in. Head down, we're going for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come on up. Cross your legs for a second, shake it out. We're gonna do one more stretch together that isn't for our legs. So what I want you guys to do is come down onto your back. And we're just gonna pull our feet in and get a little stretch on our back. So we do a lot of stretching for our legs, but we don't always stretch our back so much. And if we use our back a lot when we do our punches so it feels good to just stretch it. If you're on a hardwood floor like me, you can kind of roll it around, give it a little massage. Awesome. All right, and come all the way down. Stretch your arms over your head. Stretch your legs out super straight. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. All right, awesome work today, guys. We're gonna come up. We're gonna sit on our knees in our seiza position just like we started, hands by your side, close your eyes, muxa, three deep breaths. Muxa, you may open your eyes, bow, us, Thank you so much for joining us at Upper West Side Kai at home. This was our kids' karate class today. We'll be back on Zoom in about half an hour for our 5.30 advanced karate class. So if you're a slightly older student or a yellow belt and older or one of our adults and you want to join us again, obviously if you're an adult, you're probably not taking this kids' class today. But we do have that class on Zoom. It is for members only. So if you are not a member and you would like to inquire about becoming a member, shoot us a message right here on Facebook. Until then, have a great evening. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see some of you in the park later. I'll see some of you on Zoom. If not, I'll see you soon. Take care.